Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. Cody Vondell here. It's great to be back. As you can see, I'm settled in to the new spot. It's been several weeks since my last video. I've missed you all and I greatly appreciate the whole community keeping the creativity alive over on my Discord while I've been away from the channel. Let's take a moment really quick before we get started on the rest of the video to just check out what everybody on the server has been sharing. As always, you guys are crushing it, and I'm so thankful to check out what everybody's been working on every day. And if you aren't there already, I hope to see you on the server soon. Today, we're gonna be using my brand new Tribal Vector Kit to create a Rave Flyer. You can pick it up for free over on my Discord, or pick it up on my Etsy if you'd like to support my channel. That's where you can find all the templates that I create and use on screen and other cool merch like stickers, shirts, hats, and more. You can access my digital design library, project files for all my tutorials, early access to new design drops, and more over on my Patreon. Shout out to all my patrons for making my videos possible. Thank you all so much. And if you like the music you hear in my videos, I create it all. Just search Cody Von Dell on Spotify or your favorite streaming service. I'm also available on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Von Dell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. With that being said, let's hop on screen and start playing with these free vector assets. All right, we're here in Illustrator. Let's go ahead and copy these little uh, shapes right here. This is kind of a template for our, just like an overall layout for our flyer. Let's get it placed nice and comfy right here. And uh, that kind of gives us an idea where we'll, we'll play with the layer style a little bit, maybe turn the opacity down and the stroke to maybe uh, 10 inside so we get those nice uh, harsh corners. Something like that ought to look cool. Let's go ahead and drag some assets. We've got this skull. Uh, I've used that on some previous designs as well as this uh, little front texture. So that's some stuff that uh, maybe I'll put on my Patreon so you guys can use that as well. Maybe I'll put this whole PSD on Patreon so uh, you guys can use it and have a fun time playing around with some of these assets. And uh, let's go ahead and rename some of these layers, grunge. We'll set that to maybe uh, like screen or overlay. Screen ought to work, and we'll lock that layer. And skull, let's go ahead and play around maybe uh, with the size on that, kind of figure out how, how big, how small we want the skull to be. Something like that ought to work. And let's go ahead and grab our first little shape from our kit, drag it back there behind the skull, give it a nice, uh, you know, this has that kind of edgy feel. I remember having t-shirts and stuff like that that kind of had this kind of feel when I went through my little goth phase. Uh, around 13, 14, 15 years old. That's you know, 2002, 3, 4. I'd say by 2005, I was still kind of into it, but uh, you know, kind of into a different kind of stuff. But yeah, I was really into this style for a good two or three years. So uh, it's fun to revisit it from time to time. I played in a metal band and we uh, we had some album art that kind of had this style. So it's always fun to revisit this kind of style every now and then. So playing around with some of these shapes, trying to get that kind of mirrored effect on the uh, thing. And also just playing around with the uh, gradient map on that skull, getting it, uh, just more contrast in the black and the white on the skull. So I think overall that's looking cool and maybe we can mirror this better here in Photoshop instead of trying to drag it in from Illustrator. So playing around with that, I think that's looking pretty comfy. So we'll merge those layers and get that centered and uh, that's looking very much like a Deftones album artwork. Uh, reminds me of something that uh, my old band Porcelain Smile may, might have done. So cool. We're going to use the word Vendredi. Uh, that means Friday. So, you know, a little Friday. I'm shooting this on a Friday. It just works out. So very cool. Let's go ahead and open a different asset pack. This is just uh, some bunch of collection of fonts that I've used. And uh, we're just going to play around and figure out the right font. And I believe that middle one is it. Cool. So let's go ahead and drop that layer in here and we'll scale it up just a bit. Put on that color overlay. 
and boom, we've got the event ready. I feel that means Friday, but we're kind of playing like that's maybe like the name of the event or the artist or something. This is just a mock flyer, it's not real. Uh, next, we're gonna play around. We're gonna create a fun little grid and we're gonna drop it back there behind the, uh, the skull and uh, kind of play around with the uh, uh, dimensions on that a little bit. So we kind of have this like sort of 80s grid kind of feel. Um, playing around with that just a bit. And once we get that feeling nice and comfortable, we can pretty much just uh, copy that and paste it and turn it upside down. So let's go ahead and do that and drag that layer up. So boom, I think that's cool. These guys can, these two layers can merge. Go ahead and rename that grids and let's maybe go ahead and create a little mask for that layer. Perfect. Grids mask. So that's been renamed. That looks really cool. This definitely has that early 2000s vibe now. Um, some of these layers reorganized and renamed and stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab another shape here. And we'll paste this in here and figure out where we want to put it. Maybe we'll uh, put it back behind here, kind of turn the stroke on, maybe uh, some small, but it's looking a little busy. Maybe we can drag it. it. Takes a little bit of time to figure these things out. In the meantime, let's go ahead and drag another one of these pieces over here from Illustrator into Photoshop and get it feeling kind of comfy and looking cool too. That doesn't look bad, but I think we can still kind of play with it a little bit more. Maybe we can drag it down here and this little, uh, little rectangle down here. And uh, maybe we can you know, put a mask on that and uh, get that feeling kind of comfy. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Play around maybe with the, uh, the stroke, put it on the inside so we get that nice, perfect. That looks great. Paste this one in, Let's see where we want to put this piece, maybe down here somewhere. And then we can create a um, mask for that layer as well. Actually, I just got an idea. Maybe we can actually drag this up top. So like that, we'll copy that and paste it, flip it. Looking pretty cool. This definitely has like the metal band kind of feel. Um, this kind of feels like something that my high school metal band, it was called Porcelain Smile. This kind of feels like something that we, we might have done back in the day. So I'm, I'm absolutely really feeling this. This is kind of cool. Um, next, we have some little details here. Just kind of come up with some basic little things kind of describing this event. Uh, you know, the details, the who, what, when, where, and how to get there. So uh, let's just go ahead and get a nice comfy font. I think something like Microtechnic is going to work well. And we'll just kind of adjust some of these uh, different pieces of text until everything's feeling right. We're probably gonna have to get some stuff on some different layers and resize some of these uh, fonts and whatnot. So, or not fonts, but different text layers. So, let's go ahead and grab this, paste it in here, and uh, maybe we can put that and play around with the layer style so it's slightly different. Maybe we can leave it right there for now. Something like that. Takes a little bit of time. Once again, it's kind of trial and error, kind of figuring things out. Maybe we can take some of these details. The, uh, the, the genres, maybe we can actually uh, make those a lot bigger and actually really use that uh, that like stroke effect on that. I think that's actually gonna look really cool. Uh, some of those other details. Last thing we wanna do is play around with this color. Um, we've gone ahead and just got a really nice bright green kind of thing. We're just gonna play around with some of these different blend modes. I think something like that looks really cool. We've also used a uh, um, halftone effect, halftone filter on, on a layer. And with our grunge effect, grunge texture on that, that looks great. So using this kit, you're gonna be able to put together some edgy, gothic, tribal designs in no time. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've been away for a while, but I've been staying busy. I've got all kinds of new templates, tutorials, music, and more on the way. That wraps us up for today. Thank you again to all my patrons for making my videos possible. I can't wait to talk to you all over on my Discord server, and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you all. Territorial, it's 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 territorial